My name is Joe Williams. Uh, my job title is Process Improvement Engineer and New Business Development. And I started to pack more in 2013. The best benefits that spray drying provides are that it uh, provides a very low moisture product very efficiently, um, but it also allows the product to be uh, held and not um, get rid of the, pro the, the properties that you want to keep. So for instance, uh, it doesn't expose the product to very high temperatures or very high pressures uh, just for a very short time. So it immediately flashes off the water. So instead of it melting the product, the product is still intact and completely usable for its end use. So a lot of the end uses that we're looking at are, um, for instance, like nutritional facts or nutritional state like stability. Um, for instance, proteins, they have to have a certain protein level for them to be used in their final product, so you don't want to expose that product to too high of a temperature because then the protein level will degrade and it will decrease the protein level in the product. Um, some of the other things are just flowability of the product. Um, you don't want to create a very sticky product at the end, so holding the moisture and the temperature in balance are kind of very key components to the final product. Um, and just um, the chemical makeup of the product. If you heat it too long or hold it at that temperature too long, it'll degrade the product into some of those byproducts, which you don't want. The reasons that go with spray drying over other reasons, such as uh, drum drying or um, freeze drying, is a lot of times with the pricing aspect, the financial impact, uh, spray drying typically tends to be a little more efficient at its process. Um, it doesn't require multiple steps where with some typical types of drying you have additional steps at the end that you have to do after the initial drying phase. Um, so a lot of those, and it's, a, and it's a continuous process as opposed to a batch process. So you're not doing batches where you have to clean in between. You can run it continuously for 24 hours a day without having to ever go down. What makes Packmore stand out from the competition is that we're continually doing these R&D type projects. So like I said earlier, we're not getting into one type of product all the time. We've seen a wide variety of projects. We've seen a wide variety of products um, across different product types. So we're well versed in going from one product to another and making that having that flexibility is pretty key. Um, we've also doing, done a lot of high value products, um, kind of niche in the market and not doing you know commodity type products of starches. You know anybody can really run a starch, but not everyone can you know spray dry crickets for instance. So. Those are kind of unique solutions to unique problems that a lot of other companies may not be able to provide. We've done some crickets, we have done algae on the pilot dryer, we've done a lot of fruit extracts on the big dryer. Um, fruit extracts are particular, particularly difficult because of the sugar content in the product. Um, they tend to be very difficult to spray dry, but we've successfully been able to do that.